Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I prepare for a new semester at college. Also, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'll talk more about them at the end of the video. Before going back to college, I look over my class schedule for the semester and make some adjustments to it. Usually I change my classes during the first week of school because that's when students drop out of some classes that were full. So I end up taking the spot that opens up. I also request credit overloads during the first week and it takes a while for that to get approved. So I'm typically switching in and out of classes up until the fifth day or so. But yeah, changing my class schedule is definitely a big part of my back to school routine. Usually when I'm back at home, my mom tries to feed me as much Korean food as possible because Korean food is my favorite type of food and it's hard to get my hands on good authentic Korean food during the semester since I go to school in a pretty rural area. So we went to H Mart to stock up on more food to eat before I leave and I also bought some instant noodles and snacks to take back to school. No, you girl. But the sauce is made from the sauce. What do you do? 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 이미 표를 끊었어. To show you what I pack in my backpack, I carry my laptop, my planner, some almonds to snack on when I get hungry, various chargers like my laptop and phone chargers, my external drive that I use when editing videos, and my passport. I downloaded a photo of my schedule and made it my lock screen so that it's easier for me to keep track of what rooms I need to go to. I keep my lock screen like this for at least the first two weeks or until I memorize all of my classrooms. Before I leave to go to the airport, I also remind myself to download a few Netflix shows on my phone just so that I stay entertained in case I can't fall asleep on the plane. The drama that I downloaded was an episode of Hello My Twenties Season 2. Baby, you could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. Let me take up all the love you're showing, I need it more than air. And you know that I've been suffocating. You could be the one to help. But my issues are nauseating. I don't wanna bring you down. I just wanna be free from the free. You feel love for the first time. My parents drove me to the airport, and once we got there, we said our goodbyes. <laughs> And per usual, my mom starts crying. 
아, 저기 위에 올라가서 인사했지. typically buy water and Cheez-Its before I go on a flight like it's a tradition for me to do that but this day I wasn't really in the mood to eat Cheez-Its so I ended up just buying a bottle of water. I also downloaded this Spotify playlist of K-drama OSTs just to you know get in the feels but I actually wasn't familiar with any of these songs so I stopped listening to it after a while. Maybe you could keep me happy You've been on the road Oh, I've never needed love so badly I'm feeling so alone And you know that I've been often dreaming Of having you around But my life is so complicated I don't want to bring you down it was about 6 a.m. when I landed in Chicago. Once I landed, I took the CTA to Millennium Station so that I could take the first morning train back to South Bend. I had a bit of time to kill, so I went into Starbucks to caffeinate myself. My train ride to South Bend was two hours long and I spent it watching the new Run BTS episode. The Wi-Fi on the train was um, very bad, so it took me the whole two hours to watch the 30 minute episode. The train took us to the South Bend airport and from there I took a lift to my apartment. Whenever I enter my apartment after a break, I'm always surprised at how messy my place is. I tried cleaning my apartment up and unpacking once I got back, but realistically, I was way too tired from traveling, so I took a fat nap. I'm now going to show you how I prepare for my classes. So I just printed out my course schedule along with the syllabus for each course. Then I got these sheet protectors and I put each syllabus in an individual sheet protector. What I'll do is I'll collect any handouts or any notes I take in each of these little sleeves. I take most of my notes electronically, but a few of my courses have a screen-free policy and I also often forget to charge my laptop. So there are a lot of occasions where I take notes by hand and when I do so, I like to put them in these folders so that I have my notes organized and easily accessible when I'm studying for exams. And then I look through the syllabi and mark important dates like exam dates and assignment due dates in my planner. I designated each subject to a different color so that it's a lot easier to see my schedule in one glance. This is probably the most important step for me personally because I heavily rely on my planner for due dates. So I make sure to double check the step before moving on. Next, I go through the syllabi and look for required textbooks. Usually, I'm able to find the textbooks online, but nowadays, a lot of professors assign online homework and you need to buy a specific access code in order to do the homework, so I went ahead and purchased those access codes online. I recommend that you look up the access codes on Amazon because oftentimes, they will be a lot cheaper than buying it off the official website. But don't forget to read the reviews to make sure you're not getting scammed. No. 
Before I end the video, I want to introduce you to Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform that you can use to create your own custom website. There are a bunch of templates you can choose from and it's very easy to customize your website to fit your own aesthetic. You can use the blogging tools to share stories, photos, videos, and updates. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready, you can use my link in the description box below or my code Yura Jung to save 10% off your first website or domain.